For my science fair project this year, I decided to solve a serious problem. People are being killed by roadside bombs, which are often triggered by cheap infrared motion sensors, like this one. All of the mass-produced IR motion sensors on the market work in the same way. They see movement in the long wave infrared spectrum between 4 and 15 micrometers in wavelength. I decided to design a system that would cause these sensors to trigger by simulating movement. I did this by transmitting infrared pulses from two alternately flashing heat sources. My hypothesis was that differing pulse frequencies would cause the sensors to trigger at differing ranges. I was able to make a pulse generator by connecting some power switching transistors to a programmable microcontroller, which is a modern version of the 8051. I wrote a program in BASIC that allows the circuit to control the infrared pulsing techniques. In my tests of the system, I varied pulse frequency with and without air circulation over the heat sources. I then recorded the resulting detection ranges. After data collection, I made this final graph. Here, you can see that the triggering range peaks at a specific frequency. My conclusion is that a pair of alternately flashing IR sources will cause these IR-triggered improvised explosive devices to explode at their maximum ranges at a pulse frequency of 0.3 Hz. I hope someone will build a larger version of my system and use it to protect people from these roadside IEDs.